What's up, YouTube? Hey, Breezy, and I'm back with another video. After like <laughs> years, I just want to make a video on my 2003 Ram 2500. My new truck that I just got. Uh, it's my first truck, my first diesel truck. I've, all, I've had all the cars, G35, Honda, and Malibu. And now I got these big ones. Need some work, but ain't nothing I can't handle, you know? But yeah, let me get into it. The main issues with this truck was just the back area. It needs some paint work or a map. As you see, there's a lot of scratches. Like, I feel the most of them even look like a paint thing, like a little paint pen. And then this headlight, this headlight, I mean, sorry. It, it works, but it like flickers time to time. It's broken on the inside, so I just take it down. So I can get new ones. And then the back bumper here, I have it over here. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's not what it's supposed to look like. Um, shit. Yes pretty dinged up right there and then at the bottom a little bit and i do have a new i have a roll pan right here but i, I don't know exactly if i'm gonna put this on i think i'm just gonna get an all metal bumper i think it'll look very clean oh another thing i did is i also took the steps off that's like one of the first things i did after taking all of that off um yeah i took all of that off so it's just plain jank i don't really Hair. It looks kind of goofy, but uh, also it's gonna need some coating from the bed. New bed liner. I think the previous owner, I think he had bed stacked it, so there's that whole rail over there too. I'm not for sure that he did, but it just looks like he, he would have. But um, yeah. Then we have these little holes. We have some right there. We have some on the other side. Those are for the rock lights. Actually came on the truck. They they they're all right. I'm probably gonna get some new ones, but they they work they work all right. I think there's one of them that doesn't work on the front. See at the front looks super clean. I mean, um, this front grill right here it is chrome. So what I did was I just plastered the whole thing. I did a pretty good job, but some parts are just coming off. I'm probably gonna redo it, but actually paint it all gloss black. Um, the, the headlights, would that be? The headlights were yellow and super bad. So I did a restoration thing on them. I sanded them down all the way, all the way down. The whole clear coat sanded it all the way down. They're looking pretty white. And then I put another layer of clear coat over them, and they look really good. Um, these are definitely not factory because the factory ones they have the yellow side marker. So these are aftermarket also, along with the tail lights. Um, also the, with the truck, it came with these. I don't know what brand that is, I've never heard of it, but it came with these um, bog lights. They, they look pretty good too, I like them. But I think it would look cleaner if I put these right here instead of down here. Or even get if I just got different ones. And then what I also wanna do is I want to throw a light bar right across here. I think it'll look super clean. Or even a small one just right in between here. I think that'll look super clean. Oh, I also do guys know a trick. I had this residue because I don't have a um what is it called? A rubber rubber thing that spins, whatever it's called. To take that off. I tried Googling, I tried everything. It doesn't work. But yeah. I, just, I like it better without the badges. I think that's the front and all the front ones and all the back ones. We're on the tailgate, I'll put the tailgate up. So this truck is two tone, it has the chrome bottom, the black top. I, I, I love it, I like it. I've never seen another truck like it. That run, not a rapper. But yeah, looks clean like that. But I've never seen another one like it, uh, especially on all black. There probably is some, but I just really haven't seen any. I, I love it, I love it like that. Um, this side is messed up too. Probably is. A little bit back down. Yeah, I guess this is second hand. That's what it is. All right, yeah, I can just glue that down and I'll be all right. And then the wheels, these are stock rims on, I think these are 32s. 
32 and a half, something like that. And then, uh, I think that's a 17 is what size is for the stock wheel. I'm not totally sure. These are the Discovery S slash T Max. Yeah, I think they're pretty new. That came with the truck. Mm, decent tread on there. On to the inside. The inside, it was super filthy whenever I got the truck. I, I cleaned it super good. There's still some spots that could be cleaned better. Like, inside here, I could have cleaned that way better. But other than that, I cleaned everything. The windows. Oh, and there is 5% temp all the way around. Can't see nothing. 5% temp all the way around. It has stock seating. I want to change, either get leather seat covers or the third gen leather seats that like i could just take these out and put them in some something like that's what i want to do this it's messed up gonna get a replacement for that a sony dash uh not a sony dash a sony stereo works pretty good uh i replaced all this not all the speakers i didn't replace that one yet i thought i was buying a set of six by nine but there's only one six by nine that came in the box i was like what the freak but yeah that's the only one that didn't get replaced all the other ones did the back two are duels the cheap duels you know pay 20 bucks for shit for them and then this is the other one that i got it works pretty good i like it can't see what it has on it but let's see uh, I have to go get the key, but it has 255, almost 255,000 miles on it. Runs like a charm. Couldn't ask anything better. Um, but yeah. Oh, uh, whenever I did get the truck, this back seat, it was stuck down. Let me get back there. I just took some WD-40 and I sprayed it all on there and it fixed the problem. I was able to raise and lower the seats just fine. But, um, yeah. Um, it did come with a, also came with a air dog lift pump i think it has a small oil leak but i think it's just it's super gunked up by there see how dirty it is this truck is old over 19 years old so it could be anything because there's nothing that's dripped on the floor or anything from when i've had the truck but i'll probably get it checked out just in case there is any issues ever there is any like grease it could be from anything from that's the littlest leak to splash from the road. Anything, this truck is 19 years old, so you never know what it exactly is. Because I haven't owned this truck its whole life. But, um, here. So it does have 254, 908 miles. Runs super clean though, ships super smoothly. Usually the transmissions go bad on these things. For whatever reason, I think it's people putting power to them. But, yeah, um, this was broken, or is broken. It was broken on the other side, but I glued it down, super glued it, worked just fine though. This one's broken, it comes up. I need to glue this one down also, and it's super good. These doors, I'm telling you, they're flipping. See, you can see all this dust. It was all over everything. I cleaned it all out. I didn't have it cleaned before, but I've been driving it around. Uh, but yeah, there's like this dust that was over everything. I think this truck came from... I, Iverson, Texas, something like that. But yeah, you can see it's still on some stuff that I need to clean, but I'll get to it eventually. The truck is four wheel drive, works just fine, shit's smooth, everything. Um, oh, speaking of this, it has weird fitment. I don't know if it's supposed to go like this or anything. Uh, the AC heater blows cool and hot, but for some reason, whenever I try to change this, it doesn't switch. It just stays blowing from the top. It doesn't blow from the bottom or anything. It doesn't, I don't even think it recirculates. I think it just brings in all outside air. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to fix that. I think you just have to, I was reading that you had to shut some, what was it, close it, like a door basically and screw it down. Uh, whenever I did get the truck, it also came with this, this bad boy. Smarty Tuner. Right now I have it tuned up to 30 extra horsepower with plus timing because I think the timing is also what makes the transmission go bad or something like that. I'm, you know, I'm not an expert. But yeah, I have it tuned up 30 horsepower. Whenever I got it, it was tuned up 90. And I guess, I don't know how long he was running it like that, but still runs just fine. 
uh these carpets in this truck were super dirty i plan on replacing the whole carpet uh all the seats basically most of the interior i plan on replacing it and making it super clean headliner perfect shape no issues with it at all basically not saggy there's a couple of nicks and dings like this one but nothing special that um overhead uh whatever you call it i don't even know the name for it it's coming down so i zip i like drilled a hole through it and i zip tied it to hang it up and it won't let it close more than that now but uh it's not really a problem to me i don't really use it i don't pay attention to it that much but yeah this smarty tuner could go up to 200 extra horsepower i have it on tune two which is 30 horsepower plus time oh wait number one which is 30 horsepower plus timing yeah and he had it to four which is mid catcher i think that's 90 horsepower with timing maybe without i don't know if it's with or without timing but it's like 90 horsepower or something like that or damn was there 60 or 90 somewhere around here but yeah i did this for a while i did tune it to half power but it was just too slow it's like i couldn't even go anywhere let me quit playing and get y'all this this um sound clip Super loud. The truck does have a four-inch straight pipe turbo back. Four-inch straight pipe turbo back. It is absolute dumps. I love how it sounds. Hold on, let me uh. Yep. Super clean sounding. I think the turbo ring silencer is also taken out. So whenever you're driving, you hear that turbo spool up just fine. Super loud sounds very nice the owner did the previous owner put these green strap right here i have no idea why but it, i just haven't gotten to take it off yet really <laughs> i haven't paid no mind to it i plan on changing out all the atf I, uh, I did the oil change i plan on taking out all the atf replacing that uh, as i know that as i said the transmission is something that goes bad on these trucks yeah, it runs super smooth, no blow by. Little to no blow by. And that's, it's, it's not even warm yet. Not even moving. Uh, he had the, uh, the previous owner had the, the aftermarket lights all ran up to here. Riding down and everything. Change out these terminals. That's super smooth. I do probably need to clean the engine bay. It's pretty dirty. Uh, I'm gonna get a new air box. I did cheese grater that. I'm gonna change out the manifold. Get that replaces this. Get a Brinks Air one. Yeah, it's all the paint stuff. Also, one thing, it does also have a light bar that is supplements for that headlight whenever it doesn't work we have that light bar going across here super bright has the uh strobe like it's whatever sequential whenever you turn left and right and it's yeah super here's a driving clip it drives super smooth sounds super good no issues all right look, i need to let it warm up a little bit before i, before I get on it sounds very good it's like music in my ears the guy who did own this truck i guess he was an older guy he, he, uh, he kept up with all the maintenance all the oil changes i guess but whenever i changed the oil it was black blacker than black blacker than black basically it was dark it was super dark like it hasn't been changed in a while usually i think it is 15w40 15w40 i put 5w40 
something like that. I had it at the house. I should have showed y'all. But yeah, that's why I put in it. It's a, uh, it's more light. I'm pretty sure it's a lighter. Bird, well, some it starts with a V. It's smoother, basically, and it, it'll help you get better fuel, fuel uh, mileage. Cause I'm getting like 13 right now, which is horrible. So any anything helps. That's the oil I changed it to. I think it'll flow way better in this engine with it being older also. But yeah, I think the guy who's older kept the most maintenance records, most of his maintenance, kept the truck super clean for the most part. It was just daily for 18 years is what I saw in the Carfax. But you know, that's not always true. It might've been sold to somebody, but but yeah, I love having these on, man. I love the truck, and since I've had it for like the past two weeks, I've been treating it right. I plan to treat it right. I eventually want to get everything rebuilt from the transmission, everything up, suspension. I think the next step is going to be a level kit, either that or airbags. I don't know. I'm going to decide on that, but I think both of them will be good. But airbags would help better because I will be towing a camper with this truck. That's the main reason I got it. Uh, I paid a phenomenal price. It was six thousand dollars. I paid cash. Man, I think I got this is one of the best deals I could find. What's up, your resume? Oh, man. Could have been a video, man. Hell yeah, the vlog, man. But yeah, super clean truck. Love it. If you're thinking about buying a diesel truck, I recommend it. It just makes sure you making money so you can pay for the gas. That, oh yeah, you need my boy Z Rose. He got a new Jeep. Got that limited Cher Cherokee, Grand Cherokee. Hold on, let me show y'all. Yeah, uh, yeah, this hoe is super clean. This hoe is decked out. The only thing it don't have is four wheel drive, which uh, we don't. That's the only downfall about. That's the only downfall, but everything else super clean. Works nice, runs good. Yep. It only got seventy thousand miles on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to pay uh, twenty, thirty-five thousand, come hit them up. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah. A super clean truck, I love it. Just a couple of dents, dings, little things that need to be fixed. But you know, as you know, little things add up. Now, let me show you that low body that there's none again. You know, now she's warm. None. Nothing. That's just the engine shaking. But uh, yeah. I love having a diesel, and uh, I just can't wait to get started on fully building this thing. I yeah, turbo back straight pipe. Super clean. But yeah, I love having a diesel. Give y'all a quick walk around. Like I said, I need to take down the little step hangers. You can see it kind of got that, it's tilted up. I need to put that leveling kit or the airbags. It's just, it's just little stuff that's really wrong with it that need to be fixed. 